So here's a Honeycrisp apple, which is one of my favorites, and the new uh, Cosmic Crisp. So these, they're claiming that they can stay in the refrigerator for up to a year. Uh, I don't know how that'll hold up. It does seem like a much denser apple, and it is very crisp. Uh, it was actually a cross between a Honeycrisp and I'm trying to remember what I think. So this is the newest commercially available apple. Uh, it's much sweeter than a Honeycrisp. It's not quite as tart. It is, again, very dense. It's a harder apple. Um, Honeycrisp are also good for staying for a long period of time, say about four months or so in a refrigerator. So they were trying to breed further longevity into the uh, Cosmic Crisp. So I'm going to cut these open and see how they taste. So it's a pretty sweet apple. Pretty rigid, very stiff. It's, uh, you can really feel it when you bite into it. It's got a good flavor. It's not quite as tart as a Honeycrisp. It's a little bit sweeter. Overall, it's a really good apple. Now to cut open the Honeycrisp. So notice this has like more of a green inside, the other one has a bit of red towards the center. Still a, a hard apple, it's it's not as hard as the um, Cosmic Crisp, but still sweet, but it's more tart. Um, so if you're going for more of a sweet apple, go with the Cosmic Crisp. If you're going for a little bit more tart of an apple, uh, the Honey Crisp is pretty good. So I'd say all in all, I think the Cosmic Crisp tastes a bit better than the Honey Crisp. So they're, I can see why they're anticipating it to become one of the best apples. So I can see why they think the Cosmic Crisp is going to overtake Honey Crisp, and that's why all the commercial growers were starting to uh, propagate the Cosmic Crisp over the last couple of years. So. This is the first commercial year for it, so go out, get a Cosmic Crisp apple, and give it a try. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you uh, find this informative, and go out and try a few new apple varieties. There's well over 2,000 varieties of apples out there. There's somewhere around maybe like 20 different types of apples that normal grocery stores will sell. Other than that, you have to kind of grow your own.